Jimmy, good to see you again, mate, yeah. Rugby M. Um, last time I seen you were dancing around to Steve Luigi. <laughs> 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 no comment on that. Will, will, you, will you be dancing around if, if you win at Wembley? Oh, look, I, I, it's going to be a good game. And uh, I think that feeling when you win is, is incredible. It's the reasons why you're digging um, in pre-season and train as hard as you possibly can is for those moments as a player when you, when you actually win a big final. But we know as a team we're going to have to play well. We're going to ask you a few questions a bit about Leeds and about what you're going to believe behind because yeah. obviously it's your last few games as a professional yeah. um, coming to the business end of the season. But let me ask you first, what has Leeds given to you as a city? Oh, I've loved living in Leeds. I, it's, um, I think it's an incredible city. I think it's just the right size. Um, the, the, the town, the city, sorry, gets behind uh, gets behind the Rhinos all the time. And I, just lo I just love being in and around... Uh, in and around the place, I think it's got some great people on board, and just it's a, it's a it's a great place. And I think you'll find that any of the overseas that come over there absolutely love love being in and around Leeds. Now, obviously, it's been the golden generation. You've been a huge part of that. Um, now, the next generation is looking very good as well. You have got Singo, um, Ashton Golden, Stevie yeah. Ward, all coming to the fore. Jordan Lilly's a great young prospect. What legacy will you leave as a player on those boys? I think my legacy will be just to train hard, you know, train hard and give your best and never give up within a game and, and, and always think you can win, always um, those kind of ones. And also, just start kick 40-20s. <laughs> 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 I'm mean, keeping that to myself. <laughs> We've been around uh, the, the country this year, we're getting more and more out yeah. there, rugby as a brand, but I'm always impressed when I come to Leeds and I see the South Stand. I've been to Australia, the fans yeah. are nowhere as good. It's probably been the best set of fans I've seen consistently in rugby league now how would you JP like to be remembered by the Leeds fans just a bloke who'll give his all I, I'm, a, I'm a local lad who grew up in Bramley uh, used to go up six go in the south stand and watch and the fans remember me as a bloke who, who just give absolutely everything um, you know for the cause and for the for the shirt and I always had pride in my performances within the shirt as well and just going back to the fans as well the Leeds fans are great because um, when you're behind in a game, they get behind you. You know, a lot of set of fans go quiet when you go behind in a game, but not not the Leeds fans. They they get even noisier, and that lifts you up. And that I think that's one of the, the key reasons why we, we've won and come from behind in big games and been able to win. Is that is that it's just that noise and that energy that they give you. I think uh, you've actually got the best Leeds Rhinos song. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't, it's not one I can sing to my kids, in it. So no, my kids, no. say, kids say, "Dad, have you got a song?" I go, yeah, but. Not till you're 16 <laughs> or 18 can you sing that one. <laughs> um, you've had some some highs and some lows in in a lead shirt. Which defeat out of all of them hurt the most, and which win gave you the most satisfaction? I think the defeats. The, the, there are a couple of defeats. So the ones against the uh, obviously Melbourne and Manly. I think you you got you the Aussies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you said that, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Just because, yeah. Look, you you go through all year, win the grand final to get to that game, and when you're at home, you should beat them. And uh, the, we. And then, apart from one game, uh, Manly Ellen Road, we've, we've had chances to win them and we didn't nail those chances and I've always thought the games that got away from us, so they're the ones that <coughs> the most, to be honest, uh, yeah. Do you think we're getting closer to the NRL or further away? I, I think we are getting closer, really. I think some of the players we've got coming through, the backs are incredibly exciting and uh, the forwards are as well. It's just nailing that half-back position is going to be key for us. I think you can see by the amount of players that's gone to the NRL, that are, um, and, and, and flourish down down there that we uh, we are closer. It's just time for them to deliver now. I think this this series against New Zealand is, is key for England. I think it's one they need to win, and then that will give them a, a great springboard into the into the World Cup in two years after. You're going to be walking out at Wembley for the last time as a player, but what makes it so special playing at Wembley? I think for me it's a tradition. I, I grew up with the. With the with Wembley, there was no grand final, uh, so for me it's that tradition. I mean, I, I I only dreamt of playing in a Wembley final as a kid. I thought the closest I'd get to the Challenge Cup was being able to touch it through the old metal fences. You know, when they when they'd won it before, when the team did the lap of honour. So for me, every time I go out there, and uh, I just feel that honour and tradition that comes with it, and it just. 70,000 people, biggest stage, national stadium. What you know? What what more boxes you need ticking? Tick Do you think it's a bigger competition than the grand final? I think it's different. Uh, I think the, the Challenge Cup, you can win three games and get to the final. But it's got that tradition and that romance about it, and it's on the BBC to that wider audience. Whereas the, 
and it's better for the families. It's almost that still that big trip down to London, which probably 30 years ago was seen, you know, as adventurous. Someone from down up north going down <laughs> yeah, to London, yeah. where it's now, you know, the world's a lot smaller. But the grand finals, it's just a brutal game that you got. It's 11 months to get to the grand final, and if you win that, you you, you spend autumn and most of winter as a champion before you get back and start playing again in February. So. Uh, that's the benefits for that, and ultimately, that's the one you're aiming for because that's the mark of being consistent. You have to be all, you have to be consistent, but also have to play well in big games to win the grand final. Whereas in the Challenge Cup, you can just win big games and get there. So I think the grand final has that slight added edge as a professional. Coming towards the end of your time at Leeds, you're going to be leaving behind some good mates, Jimmy Jones, Buchanan, Kyle Littlewife. But wanting to. Um, describe one person in particular, yeah. Sir Kevin Sinfield. Can right. you describe him for us as a player and a block? Yeah, I mean, as a player, he's, uh, he's incredibly tough. You've seen the times he's got him dusted himself up off the floor. He's very disciplined in what he does and very regimented and, and methodical. He's an exceptional reader of the game as well. I'd like to say he's quick, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing he ain't got. Uh, I might even have him on that. And then, then as a bloke, he's a great bloke off the pitch. He, he's honest. He keeps himself to himself a bit, but I, I know when you get to know him, there's, there's a great bloke in there and he's got an incredibly dry sense of humour as well, wrapped under, under there, great fella. Now, you've learnt a lot of lessons, I'm sure, playing for Leeds and Bradford before that. You're going into a new career at OKR, yeah. had to be OKR with them, play them in <laughs> final. A very exciting job and a, and a difficult job because it's the kind of job that a lot of people would say you need experience for and you're just going in there from your playing career. Yeah. But what lessons will you take from your time at Leeds and Bradford into your new career at OK. I think as a, as a leader within a team, you have to develop uh, emotional intelligence, and, and I'll, I'll lead. I'll take that with into the, into this game. I mean, into the OKR job, but also look. I, I'm honest. I'm, I've been passionate about my career, and, I, and I'm hard working. And I think those three um, values will take you a long way in whatever you're doing. And I'm certainly going to bring those uh, over to OKR. Mate, thank you for your time. Pleasure, Good luck. Mate. Cheers. Look after yourself. Sir.